Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of September. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal reading information, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of stuff stuff there on how to interpret and understand the readings and etc so please do go check that out would be greatly appreciated before we get started just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel is very much appreciated so thank you so much for all your support it really means a lot to me um, channel's fairly new, about eight months maybe, and it's still pretty tiny. So if you like this, please do subscribe and share and all that great stuff to support the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And thank you so much. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. First half of September already. Can you believe that we're almost through summer already? Where is time going? And I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, Gemini, love connection. This can be any type of connection that you have right now with anybody you have in mind it isn't specifically just for married people or couples or singles or whatever it's any type of connection with whomever you have in mind and hopefully if you clicked on the link here then something resonated for you in the title so there's probably a message in here for you a message or two or maybe the whole thing so we'll see this is a zodiac oracle we'll see what we get and if you don't resonate with this part that's totally fine a little extra bonus here and the rest of the reading may have some messages for you okay virgo virgo i'm sorry i think i just saw virgo so maybe some of you are dealing with the virgo all right this is for gemini this reading is for gemini in either your sun moon rising or venus doesn't have to be all of them at least one of them all right, what do we have for Gemini? First half of September. Whoop, something flipped here. Okay, Earth energy. All right. So, Earth energy can be, and I had just said Virgo. So, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. If not, or they could have it somewhere uh, heavily in their chart. But if not, uh, that Earth energy is very stable, grounded energy. It's um, slow growth and expansion. It's about material and monetary needs, um, being very wise and practical and very slow growth energy. So I don't know, planting the seeds and waiting for your crop to flourish in some way. All right, so let's see. Gemini, with this deck here, all the decks are listed below if you are interested in that. This is the psych Psychic Tarot for the Heart. All right. Let's get one overall love energy card for you and your person, whoever you have in mind. What is the love energy like for the first half of September? And there we go. Release. Okay. Ooh, and this is um, death energy. So this is Scorpio energy. So this is something coming to an end releasing something no longer serving you but and one in three is four so that could be just based on your own stability um, your foundation doing what's best for you releasing something no longer serving you so you can bring stability back into your life but there's always a new beginning once something you end something as in that death energy doesn't mean someone's gonna die just ending something but then there's always a rebirth and a new beginning and Earth is 26, which is 8, which is about movement, action, travel, communication of some kind. And before I started even shuffling, the cards that came into my mind were all cards of, oh, like, not good energy, like endings, deceit, uh, betrayal, and things of that nature. Now, all the past readings I had just done for you, Gemini, over the several past months and weeks have all been very positive readings of coming in together, meeting your soulmate or twin flame, and then um, committing to one another and then making long-term plans together. So that cycle of a group of people I may have been reading with may have come to an end. And we may now be starting a new cycle of readings for a new batch of uh, Geminis, perhaps. So um, because I last reading I did uh, for 
the end of August. I think it was about making long-term committed plans with your soulmate. So now we may be tapping into a new group of Geminis here who may be ending something. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If not, you, you could be ending something or they could be whoever you're connecting with so that you can be together with this person. And maybe it's a very slow process here. I don't know. But we'll see when we get into the reading here um, what we get. All right. So Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Let's get, oh, and I got two. One for you and how you are feeling about your person and this connection. And what for your person and how they are feeling about you and this connection. All right, so let's see what we have for you, Gemini. So, crown chakra. So, this is the top of your head. Um, and seven is uh, a very divinely guided number. So, this is listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, uh, being divinely connected to source, your angels, your team, your spirit guides. And just really paying attention to the signs, symbols around you and really listening to what you feel deep down in your heart and soul and your gut and really paying attention and listening to that. And somehow that's affecting this connection. And maybe your instinct is telling you it's time to release something and move on. I don't know. We'll see. So how is your person feeling about you in this connection? So we have the six of swords here, believe and succeed. So... They're wanting to leave something behind here and move forward in a more healing, peaceful place. Whether it's with you or on their own, as in leaving a connection with you and moving forward alone in a very more in a more uh, healing, positive, calm place. I don't know. We'll see here as we clarify with the tarot what exactly is going on here. So that's your air energy. So they definitely is does involve you because this is air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So your person is being affected by you. Now the crown chakra here, I don't think it's associated to any specific sign, but um, they're definitely uh, have your energy around them with the six of swords here. And we have six, seven. So, and that's 13 and that's four and that's 13. Wow. That's six of seven is 13. Death is 13. Wow. I just realized that. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Darkest fear. So this is the, okay, this isn't the nine of six of swords. This is the six of wands. They look similar to me. This is the six of wands. So this is about success and victory. So, um, but I got that six of swords energy. So maybe that could be a message for some. This is the Six of Wands. So it's fire energy. So this is uh, Leo Sagittarius energy. Sorry about that. So, so beliefs succeed. I mean, they are. I think maybe, I don't know, something needs to be released here so things can start fresh here and have like new growth with the earth energy for some of you. And you're listening to your gut and intuition about this connection and they want to believe in this connection and they want it to succeed because the Six of Wands is about success and victory, accomplishment. And on the bottom of the deck, though, is the Nine of Swords. That could be just your energy. Now, this is Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Darkest Fears. This is stress, anxiety, worry, fear, nervousness. But now we have, um, I do believe that's judgment. So we do have here now making a judgment call. Um, this is Scorpio energy. So, I believe that's Scorpio judgment. So, you know, this is about uh, things could blossom here. This is uh, forgiveness, resurrection of things from the past and making a decision, final judgment call to maybe re-blossom this connection. So, and then under that we have success and growth. So this is the eight of wands. So again, with the eight, with the earth energy, that is the eight of wands, passionate energy, uh, moving forward, uh, communication, travel, move, movement forward, fast action, communication, passionate energy, moving forward and a blossoming connection here possibly. So let's see, let's see if I get, did see those, okay. 
So we'll put these over here like that. All right, so let's tap into the tarot here and see what's going on for you, Gemini. All right, so let's clarify for Gemini. Let's clarify for Gemini, but the the uh, main message here is something needing to be released so things can start fresh, start new, regrowth as with the earth energy, slow practical approach in some way. All right, so let's clarify for Gemini with the crown chakra here. The crown chakra, that's too many. Why does Gemini have the crown chakra here for how they are feeling about their person in this connection spirit? Please, just one card. All right, so we'll take one for you and one for your person. All right, so you have the two of mirrors. So this is the two of cups, water energy. So uh, this is two people coming to, together as one soulmate union. This is a soulmate connection here. Love, emotions being shared, coming together as one, soulmate union. You know that with the crown chakra, listening to your intuition, gut feelings, higher knowing, knowing, intuitively knowing this is your soulmate, you know. And they want to succeed with you. They want this connection to succeed too. But something has to be released here so this can blossom. And fears have to be released maybe because we have darkest fears here may need to be released so that this can succeed and grow as in with the earth energy. So they have the weaver here, the queen of scrolls. So this is the queen of swords. So this is your energy. So they definitely have, they could be a water sign if they're not an earth sign, as we do have Scorpio here with the death energy. Um, but don't get too caught up on the signs. I mean, we have Scorpio there and Scorpio there. Wow, so they definitely could be a Scorpio but they could be any sign, but we do have air energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this is your energy. So they definitely want uh, this connection with you. They have you on, on, your heart, on their heart, their mind, the queen of scroll, scrolls, uh, air energy, you know, very uh, blunt, <laughs> open and honest and truthful, clear communication. They say it like it is, they don't really care. They'll stand up for what they believe in. They don't take any BS. Um, very clear cut person here, uh, very logical thinking. Um, they think things through very uh, clearly and logically before moving forward as with the earth energy. So maybe, you know, this connection is just moving very slowly here. I don't know. All right, so let's see uh, what the actual situation is here. What needs to be released? What is this release about, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Can we get three cards? All right, something flipped here. Wow, Ten of Mirrors, nice. Wow, what needs to be released? What's going on? What is the actual situation for Gemini? Some Geminis, the first half of September. What is this release about? Spirit, please, thank you so much. We have two more cards for Gemini. Two more cards for Gemini. All right. Thank you. Okay. So let's see what the actual situation is here. So we have the Ten of Mirrors, which is the Ten of Cups, water energy. The Knight of Spirals, which is fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. And then we have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. So connecting to you in this connection for the actual situation is the Ten of Cups, which is nice. Not only do you know this is your soulmate, you know you can have a very loving um connection with them fulfillment in every single way happy home and family life happiness and joy and fulfilled in every single way love emotions fulfillment happiness joy family everything loving here with the ten of cups you see that with them but connecting to them is the hermit energy uh virgo energy so this is you know being kind of in solitude and thinking contemplating uh, finding their way, their light, trying to heal, mend, uh, find their inner, doing the inner journey work. So as you see release here and then you see 
they want to succeed, but they have that like release energy here and see it going up and right up through them. Wow. So this could be them just spending time alone, really healing and mending and thinking about this moving forward, uh, maybe just releasing stuff from the past that's no longer serving them in some way that makes sense for you. And you could be just holding out for this person, the hermit, you know, you could be just staying alone away from them while they do this energy work and just kind of waiting because you know you know your intuition here that this you're seeing the light you know this is your soulmate but connecting the two of you is the knight of spirals it's a knight of wands fire energy now the knight of wands is usually a player comes in and out has some fun they're very fiery passionate exciting um go-getter determined kind of energy it's kind of an in for some it's an in and out energy um it's connecting the two of you so maybe if this has been an in and out relationship where they just come in and have some fun or you just come together for some fun and then that's it you know maybe they're starting to release that mentality now and now they're seeing here with the release and the six of wands energy that they can have something more with you. This can be a very stable, grounded relationship. Yes, it may still be fiery, passionate. It may also keep that connection because this is about, you know, fiery, passionate action movement forward, being very determined. All right, so let's get some clarity um, for you. The Queen of Spirals. So now we have a matching couple. We have the Knight. Oh, no, we don't. That's the Knight. I'm sorry. So we have the Queen of spiral so they could be a fire sign but we have the queen of uh swords here and now the queen of wands so if they <laughs> this is the player card so if they've been uh seeing more than one person um maybe seeing you and other people here uh maybe they're starting to release connections no longer serving them because they really want things to blossom and grow with you there may be some fear over that, like finally committing to somebody. And maybe it's just taking them a very long time with this earth energy. Again, you know, the queen of spirals is someone who's very passionate, determined, and fiery. They go after what they want. They're very successful, entrepreneur kind of energy, very creative. I don't know. So let's get more. Uh, you would totally know, maybe, or this is just your energy being that fiery, passionate energy. Or, you know, maybe you know you know your soulmates, but you know they have to end their player ways here. And that could be with the release, because I think maybe you see them with other people also. Maybe you have fear they may not commit to you or want to um, move forward just with you. All right, so let's get... See, the Ten of Spirals. Wow, fire energy here. Leo Sag Aries over here on their side. So again, I think they're releasing burdens, you know, they're carrying a lot on their back right now. They know they need to release this burdensome energy. They know they need to choose a path here. They need to release all this weight on their back. So again, I think they're releasing and ending, tens are endings, their player ways. You see, you know, this horse, you know, runs around a lot as with the Knight of Spirals. So I think they're getting ready here to end their ways and they want to just be with you because you have they have you the queen of swords on their heart mind and in their soul and they're starting to realize that all right let's get more clarity here for your situation the world again um and here's earth and here's that earth energy with the world the world is earth wow so ending cycles starting new cycles so they're releasing their player ways to start a whole new world a whole new cycle with you in your waiting because you know you you know like you know okay we're soulmates and we know you know eventually we're going to have the ten of cups together you're just waiting for them to see the light find their inner journey work and quit their player ways with the ten and the night so you can start this new world together this new cycle together ending of old ways and it's right under the queen of wands so if they're seeing another person that's a fire sign they're probably going to end out that cycle as with the ten of wands over here ending and start a new cycle with you because you're right in their heart and mind and soul 
All right, let's get more clarity for them. The four stones. So four pentacle energy as with the earth energy again. So this is um, about stability. The basis foundation four is about that in the pentacles, you know, monetary material, but it also can be an energy of, I think now they're gonna finally hold back from this other person. They're still holding on to you in their heart and mind, but now they're gonna start holding back from this other connection because they don't want to lose you. You're their treasure here. And they want to succeed and grow and blossom with you. Wow. All right, so let's get um, your advice, Gemini. So we have the three of spirals and the eight of spirals. So your advice is the three of spirals. This is all fire energy. So um, I just got this weird message. Like if you're wanting to confront their other person, don't do that. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Because the three of spirals is about uh, patiently waiting. Like you see your, your, your course, where you want to go, what you're heading to but you just have to wait a little bit before you can set out on that journey. And this is the journey here with the eight of spirals, is that communication, travel, action, movement forward. Before making any rash, fast action forward, it's telling you to wait, to wait it out before you take any action that you may regret, is what I'm getting here. And if it's confronting their other person, uh, uh, don't do that. <laughs> I think you could cause a lot of trouble if you do that. Um, if that makes sense for some of you. And this is, you know, communication also from them. So they may be communicating to you about this other fire sign and saying, you know, look, um, three spirals about waiting and stuff. You know, I'm not waiting around for them anymore. I just want to be with you and finally coming forward with that communication. So your advice is to wait. Don't take any harsh movement forward in any way to either them or to whoever else they're associated with and just wait patiently for their uh, communication and action and movement forward towards you. All right, that's what the messages I'm getting. Oops, so let's get more clarity on that. Justice, right, so Libra energy. So you will get justice in this situation. They will communicate, they will balance out the scales. There'll be truth, there'll be honesty, and justice will be served in this whole uh, paradigm here, so in this new cycle, them ending cycle, starting a new cycle, and getting justice in this. So just wait it out for your justice when they come forward. And the page of scrolls. So here is the page of um, swords. So air energy. So this is your energy. So this is the communication coming to you. Swords, truth, clarity, standing up for what they want, standing up for you, the connection cutting out things no longer serving them with the Page of Swords energy. The pilgrims going on a journey as we had the hermit here connected to them. They're going on that inner journey work right now, releasing what's not serving them, realizing what they want and need in their life. So they can be a rebirth, a regeneration, regrowth, as in with the earth energy in this connection so it can, so it can succeed and grow and blossom. Wow. And they're ready to take that journey with you as this is the star energy as your energy here. They may, you know, if there's no communication right now or you're apart right now, they could be keeping tabs on you or vice versa, you know, social media, things like that, seeing what you're doing, what you're up to. Have you moved on? Are you waiting for them? You know, the pilgrim is going on a journey here. So, yep, yeah, they're in their inner journey here with the hermit but they will make their way to you, I feel, because this is your energy, which is your energy. All right, so let's see what your possible outcome may be now, Gemini. So the Knight of Mirrors, so there you go. So this is water energy, but it doesn't have to be, as you had water energy here. So they could be a water sign, um, or they could be a Virgo. I'm getting water sign or an earth sign. And they may be releasing a fire sign. So this is a uh, water sign. Again, so this is the Knight of Mirrors. So here is them not only coming forward with action, communication, traveling to you. You've, you're waiting for them, I feel, and they know that. Because your advice is to wait for them to communicate to you. But don't make any rash, harsh communication to anyone they may be associating with because I don't think that will benefit anybody 
But here they are now with the Knight of Mirrors coming forward, taking that action forward, action forward, action forward with love, um, communicating and coming forward with love, emotions, feelings, and showing it and saying it and wanting to give that to you. Wow. All right, so let's get some clarity on that. So we have the Page of Mirrors. So here, <laughs> wow, water sign again. So that definitely could be a water sign, as I had said, Scorpio. Um, they could have Earth and water or Scorpio and heavily in their chart somewhere, if you know that. But here is the action coming forward, that loving action forward. And here is the Page of Mirrors, that water, the communication, the messages, the loving messages coming forward now. That loving, caring, compassionate communication between the two of you. In terms, words of endearment, love, not only the action, but the actual messages. Wow. And the seven of mirrors. So, water energy again. Wow. So, you know, they may be, you know, as they're doing this inner journey work here with the pilgrim, going on that journey and doing the inner journey work. You know, they will see the light, but they may be a little confused um, here little confusion, little daydreamy energy as you see kind of like releasing energy. Whoops, as I set my cards on fire. <laughs> um, sorry about that, Gemini. So yeah, there may be a lot of passion between you also because my cards want to fall into my candle. So yep, releasing and they'll, they'll find the way, they'll see the light, see the light here also. Well, I don't think that's a light, but it kind of looks like one. So, you know, having some confusion, looking at all their options, the pros, the cons, uh, daydreamy kind of energy as they do this inner journey work. But I definitely feel like they eventually, they will come forward to you and take that action movement with words of love, affection towards you. All right, Gemini, let's get some bottom of the deck energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the seven of spirals, seven of wands. So this is being defensive and on guard. So, and this is the fire energy. So whatever fire sign they may be dealing with off on the side here, I think they're going to start uh, putting them at a distance. They're going to start being on guard, defensive against them, start blocking them. The seven of spirals energy. The moon. So again, uh, this is about, you know, not knowing. This is Cancer Pisces. So this is not knowing all the facts, not seeing things clearly. Uh, but then it can be secrets or secrets eventually coming to light. So maybe they think you don't know that they're seeing somebody else, but I think you know that. <laughs> You're very intuitive uh, here. So, and you know, the moon is all about that intuition energy. So you know what's going on here, even though they may not be saying it, but I think they will reveal all to you soon here and how they're blocking and uh, being defensive against this uh, fire sign. Ace of Stones, so there you go, and there's the Earth Energy. Brand new beginning, so here's the brand new beginning. It'll be based on uh, security, stability, uh, growth, prosperity, abundance for the long haul, planting the seeds and watching your future grow. Very, very slow, stable energy for the long term. Brand new beginning for the two of you. The Six of Scrolls, just the Six of Swords, so again, releasing and healing what's no longer serving them the situation releasing and then healing the situation and then moving forward leaving all that crap behind and moving forward in a more compassionate peaceful place here together wow you see the moon energy there yep i definitely feel here moving forward together in more colorful peaceful waters leaving all past junk behind Sturdy, stable ground, a new beginning for the long term. Secrets being revealed, things coming to light. And defending and blocking off this other person. They could be fire sign. All right. Let's see. Can you see that? All right. So, sorry for the glare. So, let's get some advice and guidance for you. Gemini. 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 Advice. Advice and guidance for you in this connection, in this connection, in this connection. Advice and guidance for you, Gemini. Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. So we have summon. 
which is 13, which is four, which is about, um, again, stability, structure, the basis, foundation. So you may be uh, trying to call them in, manifesting them, summoning them in with your energy here as you have very high intuition. So you may be doing um, like moon work and uh, manifesting work and law of attraction work and using, your, using the energy to uh, summon them to you. Be careful of that. Don't, you know, try to force anything. It's okay to be in a higher vibration to try to attract them, but don't try to do like, uh, I don't do like spells or anything like that. But if you do that, don't do anything you may regret here. Um, just be in a very positive, high energy vibration here. And that may summon them into you in a more positive way. Because you see them releasing and then like you summoning them in. So don't try to possess them or do anything negative to them in any way here. Because, wow, you have 13 and 13. Wow. Wow. So, <laughs> wow. Wow. If, you, if you're doing trying to do, I, I don't know if I believe in it, I don't do it, witchcraft or trying to put spells to try to control them I would not suggest that you may need to release that if you're trying to do that okay so what else do we have for Gemini wishing 1910 so cycles ending here 10 one new beginning and wishing you know being faith having that faith hope optimism uh, divinely guided which is like the star energy so uh, being very divinely guided energy here. Just give it up to the divine in the universe. What will be, will be. Don't try to control it here by summon, summoning them in with any um, bad energy because that's not good. Um, but wishing on the star here. you know. So just remain positive. Faith, hope, optimism. Give it up to the divine and know if it's meant to be, it will be. You can wish and hope for that. Divinely guided, you know, healing energy. All right, anything else for Gemini? Cycles, wow. <laughs> and I had said that through this whole reading. This is all about cycles, 10 again, seven and three, 37, 10 and one. And we have 10 here again, which 10, 10, which equals one, one new beginning, one, one, two, two people coming together over here, soulmate union. So again, cycles ending and cycles beginning with your wish, your dream come true. You don't need to do any negative work here because I think this will eventually come together. And then we have 34, trapped, seven. So seven is a divinely guided number. So um, if you're trying to entrap them by doing some kind of summon work here, again, don't, I don't, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. Because there is love here. Again, with the 10 endings and new beginnings trapped and you know maybe they're mentally trapped right now as they're doing this inner journey work and maybe they're trapped by their ways or trapped maybe somebody else has them in some sort of entrapment somebody else are dealing with uh, but I feel like whatever that is that cycle will close and a new cycle will begin with the two of you because there is love between the two of you there is love and now under that we have the high priestess of ear so again I feel using your intuition your higher knowing six here healing balance harmony so ear and that's the truth the clarity communication uh seeing things clearly clearing out anything not serving the connection uh standing up for it standing up for yourself not taking any vs and intuitively knowing all this and doing this and listening to that energy and that is your energy with ear libra gemini aquarius so gemini for some of you just let it go. Don't try to control it here with summon and try to like, I don't know, call them in in some way, like controlling them. Don't do that. Just uh, wait for them to come to you. I think they're releasing things, no longer serving them. They do feel the love and the connection with you and they do, they will realize this is what they want with you and they will come to you and tell you this, that they want to be with you and succeed and grow and blossom slowly moving forward. And you know this, you do know it. So there's no need to do this uh, summoning work here if that's what you're doing. Okay, Gemini, um, sorry this is a little long, 
But uh, if you do like the way I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love. So don't miss out on that. And if you hit the little bell, I think there's three options. You can hit all, and you'll receive all notifications. I just ask, though, if you don't like to receive the notifications of all the other signs that are posted that you don't unsubscribe, you can easily go and unclick that bell. You will not receive notifications. You will have to go into your subscriptions area and look for my readings in your subscription area and find the readings that you want to watch. So I think a lot of people don't know that. So that is also an option. And uh, good luck to you in this situation. If this did not resonate for you, check the description box below for past Gemini playlist readings. I would say find something in there. It may resonate for you. Disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. So if a title catches your eye, I would say uh, watch it anyway. There's probably something in there for you uh, to watch. So good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.